everyone, Stress here with 221B Tactical. Today I'm going to do a quick video. Um, actually, doing this video as a educational video, if anything, for those who are asking about the different levels of cut resistance and what exactly is the cut resistant rating. Uh, R221B Tactical Guardian Gloves are EN388 rated level 5 and that is the European rating system we do international uh, shipping and we have international police and military units using our gloves so uh, right there you just saw me take them out of the package I'm gonna put those right here and what I have is a pair of gloves that are uh, as advertised premium defense uh, I picked these up at Home Depot they are ANSI which is the US certification organization level 4 so ANSI level 4, uh, when you look at it side by side, is about equivalent to the EN388 level 5 that our 221B tactical gloves are. So this is actually a pretty good uh, match as far as an apples to apples uh, test cut resistant gloves. They have touch screen technology. So um, what I have here is a scale, and I have the scale here because the testing is done to a certain pounds. Actually, uh, they do the testing to 500 grams, which is about a pound. So I have the scale here so you guys can see just how hard I'm pressing, <coughs> excuse me, on the glove while I'm doing this test. So let's go ahead and do the test. Now, uh, we had uh, someone do a test with our Guardian gloves. Uh, a great, uh, great guy who did a test, um, does some great videos, and he, actually did the test and part of what he used was a piece of wood inside the glove. Now, just to explain what the EN388 testing is, is they have a circular blade that is essentially rolled back and forth over the test fabric and it's rolled at 500 grams and they test how many times this roll happens uh, before the material breaks down and breaks down and cuts. So uh, for that, I have a pizza cutter. Uh, the pizza cutter is fairly sharp. It's uh, a basic pizza cutter. And, uh, but I also have a very sharp kitchen blade it is uh, similar to what uh, the gentleman uh, from field, free field training uh, used. And I also have a basic pocket knife, 221B blade, which this is my personal blade, which I keep very sharp. You can actually see I'll, uh, do some shavings here on my fingernail. You see I keep that blade very sharp. And then I have a basic box cutter. So this is something that you would find maybe when you run into someone on the street uh, that they have on them. So I got a few different knives here. So what I wanna do is actually run a test on the cut resistance of all these gloves. Now, the basic cut resistant test with the EN388 they do not have a hard backing. They don't have a piece of wood. Uh, I know um, in the free field training video, he used a piece of wood to uh, almost simulate a bone that might be inside the glove. That's not what the standard test is. Now, I didn't make up the standard test, the EN388. I didn't make up the ANSI uh, level four uh, testing guidelines here. I didn't make any of that up. That's already preset, certified, done in labs. But just explaining to you how those tests work and the poundage. Now, when you now take a butcher knife and put it against a block of wood and cut a piece of material, of course, it's gonna be a different outcome. But what I wanna do is actually try to duplicate it. So uh, let's, uh, let's get going here. So first I'm gonna show you uh, basically how the testing works with the ANSI and EN388. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this little rolled up rag in here to simulate a hand. And I know many of you have seen me do the test with the glove on in my hand. And now I'm gonna put that uh, glove down there so you guys can see the weight. I'm gonna angle this up a little bit so you can actually see more of the glove. And here we go. We got, let's see, about six point one ounces. This is pounds over here and this is ounces over here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the blade similar to what uh, free field training used right here, pretty sharp kitchen blade, and uh, go ahead and cut this. 
and then I'm gonna you, I want you guys to watch the poundage increase so right here we're at two pounds which is double the standard uh, in the certified testing so I'm just gonna keep pushing here at two pounds and see what happens three you're gonna just watch that as I push a little harder so you'll see here that I got up to about four pounds I cut through that outer layer but I'm not quite through that inner layer that inner later layer at four pounds is still pretty good I'm gonna keep cutting at it and see what happens as I increase the poundage five pounds six pounds seven pounds seven pounds of pressure so it's about seven times and we got a little bit I'm gonna bring it up to the camera here we got a little bit of tear on the cut proof liner but it's not quite all the way through yet so what I want to do is actually I want to keep going and see how many pounds it takes to get through our 221B cut proof layer and you know what I'm not even gonna use the pizza cutter because I mean I could almost push on this pizza cutter all day long get up to eight pounds of pressure and you know it's not I don't believe it's gonna go through um, we have a box cutter here as well but I'm gonna do a different test for that but I want to keep going with this super sharp kitchen knife now as a police officer this is something you might actually run into you may be on a domestic call and you may have someone in a kitchen grab a knife like this out of a butcher block so um, I actually like that free field training uh, use this in their video so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to cut this 8 9 11 and see if we get through. Not quite, but it's getting there. 11, there we go. All right, so I don't know how high I went up, but now you'll see I pierced that cut proof layer and I got through to my rag there. There you go. So took about 11 pounds of pressure. That's 11 times what the, uh, I guess the standard EN388 test looks for. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, and you can see I cut through and cut my kitchen rag here. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna take the ANSI level four, here, these gloves, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna open these up here, and I'm gonna take this same rag, I'm gonna just put it in on this side so we got a fresh side. And I'm going to see what it takes to cut through these level four gloves with my rag inside. Okay, so let's clear this out with the weight again. All right, so let's do it. As you can see, we went through. I don't know what poundage I went up to, but as you could see, we got, we pierced it. And this is ANSI level four, which actually might be stronger, a level rating, and the ANSI test is a little tougher uh, to some regards than the EN388 test, and there you go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm not even gonna waste the time with the pizza cutter on this glove. I think that's kind of silly, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the front part of the glove, and once again, let's look at that pressure. And I'm through, as you can see right there. Right there, you see, I'll bring that closer. I'm through, okay. So, uh, it looks like it took a couple more pounds, but nevertheless, our kitchen blade went through on both occasions. Now, you guys saw it was about 11 pounds for the first gloves, about uh, 15 pounds for this glove. Now, what I wanna do is show you how adding the wood spoon, the hard backing, not the soft rag, and as you can see here, this is where the rag got cut on that ANSI level four glove. So, this is the difference when you put in a hard spoon and 
you try to cut this hard spoon. So I'm gonna just first even this out here. All right, and then I'm gonna take my blade and go ahead and do this. All right, let's see how many pounds it takes to cut through this. Okay, I'm through. I think we got up to about eight pounds there and I'm already through. So maybe at around seven something, uh, it already went through and I could show you right there, as you could see, it went through at about roughly seven pounds something ounces. So as you could see, it took about half the pound pressure with this knife and the pound pressure is really telling. That way you guys can tell how hard I'm pushing. There's no, there's no uh, faking that if you would. Um, and so about 15 pounds of pressure, 14, 15 to cut through when the rag was inside and about seven pounds or so when the wooden spoon was inside. So now let's take a look at what the 221B gloves do when you have the wood inside. Uh, I'm gonna guess that you're gonna have a similar reduced poundage. So first let's just even this out. Okay, and now we got that wood spoon inside. Let's get that wood spoon in there. And I wanna let my fingers off of there. Okay, so now let's cut that. I wanna make sure the fabric's not moving. I wanna really cut it. Am I through yet? Yeah, there we go. So I think we got up to about seven, once again, seven or eight pounds. And there, I don't know if you guys can see, I just got through. You see that wooden spoon in there? Just made it through. So about seven or eight pounds of pressure right there. Here you go, went through. So once again, you're in the teens roughly for pressure to cut through when the cloth was inside, when the rag was inside here. And I think part of it when they're testing gloves is the rag is gonna be more similar to your hand, which gives a little bit, I, I'm, I'm just speculating here, and rather than the hard spoon, which is not what they test when they rate our gloves. So, you know, when we have our gloves here, Guardian gloves and some of our other gloves that are uh, EN388 level five rated, like I said, they're going against the soft rag, if you would, soft backing, and they're using essentially a sharpened wheel, pizza cutter, if you would. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna take these gloves and show you how they hold up to some of the basic things that you would deal with you would have maybe a razor. Let's see how they hold up to a razor. I wanna actually maybe get a fresh area on this glove here. And let's take a razor cutting it and keep that poundage open. Okay, I'm through that outer layer and I'm pushing pretty hard. I'm not through that, I'm not through that white layer yet. There's some black chips, but I'm gonna keep going on that same spot and see if I can get through. Still starting to get some shreds on that white cut resistant layer. I'm gonna really dig in. And you guys can probably see the poundage that I'm pushing on. Really trying to get through that white layer. I don't think I'm still through it yet. Really wanna open it up and get it. Let's try the 221B tactical blade. There we go. I think I finally got through to that white layer. There we go. So once again, pretty good pressure to get through. You saw me, I was kind of like really going at it in that same spot. So um, let's go ahead and go back to the Let's go back to the level four, ANSI level four rated gloves here. And let's just use, once again, let's use a razor blade right here. 
once again, same spot. And like the 221B Tactical Gloves, it's holding up pretty good. It's starting to wear down a little bit, but it's still holding up pretty good. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Okay, looks like we pierced it a little bit right there. Looks like we pierced it right there with the razor now. Once again, these are ANSI, very respectable organization, level four cut resistance certified gloves. And we're through. If we go with the street pocket knife here, different position on the glove, maybe right over here. And we push and we're already through. If you look at that, we're already through. That's with my sharp 221B tactical knife already through. So when it comes to cut resistance, you gotta be careful. There's no such thing as a glove that's cut proof. I think we all know that. Unless a glove is made of you know, chain metal like you're a, a, a medieval knight, there's no glove that's gonna prevent you from getting cut with this, this, something like this, and definitely, I don't know, this is kind of weak, but that's what they use for the testing standard, something similar. Um, but when it comes to a glove for police patrol use, and in this case, a glove here from Home Depot, level four, it's gonna help protect you if you're maybe, you know, sharpening a chainsaw blade, or you're working with a razor cutting something and then you slip and just happen to go over your thumb or something like that. Yeah, these gloves are gonna help protect you in cases like that, in situations like that. If you take a couple of light or even pretty hard grazing blows, it's gonna help protect you, same as our 221B tactical gloves. You could take a couple of hard, really hard grazing blows and you could probably even grab a blade and really pull on it and it's gonna protect you. But eventually, if with enough pressure and a hard enough backing, the glove material is going to cut through. It's only level uh, five, you know, here, five, here, four, um, and that's only rated really with one pound of pressure and a wheel going back and forth on the material until the material breaks down. They see how many passes it takes. So just a video to let people know what the testing standards are, what our gloves are rated for, and what their intention is for uh, from the standpoint of how they're made, and especially because they're a glove made for a soft, softer backing. So you guys saw how that was with the rag in there, opposed to having the wooden spoon in there. Some of you guys recognize this wooden spoon from childhood. I know I do. So, uh, quick educational video about the ANSI cut resistance standard, which was this glove, level four, very high rating, and the EN388 level five cut resistance standard, which is our glove right here, the 221B tactical glove. And I hope that having the scale involved, showing the poundage uh, helped that uh, as well. Uh, hope this was educational and uh, hope to see some comments and uh, hopefully you guys learned something here from this video. Thanks for watching.